Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode real quick. Uh, what? Huh? Happy birthday? <gasps> it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Yeah. Yes. In truth, it really is my actual birthday. The day I was uh, born, you know, the day I, uh, you know, came to exist. Um, and uh, got my name. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be on here uh, super long. I just wanted to do a short little update. Oh, there's the legible cakes. I'm going to munch on you later. Let's go. Oh, we did name the pets. I post another quick video, but quickly we'll go over them again. We got the original couple, Rita and Roscoe, and their two offspring are uh, named Ralphie and Oreo. Thank you for the name suggestions. Uh, you know who you are. And then we brought over another cat named Yoda. Why? Because Skittles need a partner. Bless. Yoda was the name of a cat we had growing up as a kid. Why? Because it looked like Yoda. This is probably the oldest, naughtiest cat you'd ever seen in your freaking life. Um, but yeah. Oh, look at all them sheep. This thing is putting in work, guys. Here, let's take a quick gander at this. Masterpiece. It is built. It is a mob XP grinder. Um. I didn't make it too crazy tall because I have a... Here, I'll just show you. I put campfires in the bottom. So uh, they fall down and they finish dying on the campfires. One of the, it's, It is a double stacked layer. So there are two mob spawning levels to it. Um, if I want to get more XP, I simply just take my uh, axe, which does have soap touch. Super helpful. And... Uh, I break these campfires. Um, I do think I may switch these to uh, what are they called? Stole campfires in the future uh, because supposedly their fire won't spread. I'm worried that these fire, um, you know, might burn the chest and the barrel. Let me know in the comments if that will happen. Is there a witch in there just out healing the stupid stuff? Oh, creeper just popped out. But yeah, all I have to do is uh, break those campfires and then I'll just sit here and uh, the top level, it's high enough that the mobs that fall will die. But the lower level, it's just enough that uh, it makes the mobs one shot. So all I have to do is just in this corner or out in front and just hit it with my sword and I uh, get the XP from it and then I'll of course you know drop them either the barrel or the double chest that f I don't know may it oh your butt face oh I see Bring the old prune. Freaking witch. Too bad, I got pumpkin pies. Pumpkin pies will defeat you, you butt monkey. Also, I wanted to, oh my gosh. Did that poison seem like it lasted longer than usual? Or whatever the crap that was? We have modified. Our clay farm. Because if you remember last time I was talking about, oh man, I don't know what I need to do. Because I didn't, I, I hadn't done research on how to make freaking clay farms. So I thought, oh, if I just, I knew how to make mud. Because I had seen stuff on that. And then people said you just let it dry out. But what they didn't tell me is you got to uh, have dripstone blocks under them. And then an actual dripstone stalagmite. The light tight, what's my bucket thingy? 
under each one so that the water drains from it. So uh, I dug down right here, made a little, I think it was right here. There's somewhere right here. Dug down, accessed all that, and put dripstone onto all the dripstone blocks. And then to modify this even more, we took dispensers and we put water bottles in them with water in them and then we uh, attach redstone and buttons so all we have to do let's quickly harvest this so i can no nope. we'll do it all yeah no skimping here about to become night and i don't know if i've slept recently so all the phantoms are gonna come and eat my toes Hate phantoms. Freaking butt monkeys from hell. Ugh. Yeah. A lot of mud and a lot of dirt. So, this simplifies it so much. You just poop those there. Oh, yeah. ASMR in this game is amazing. Now that that's all finished, let's get the whoop de poop. Poop that in there. Oh, yeah. What? Let's put my shell back. I just had that for the beginning thing. What? Well, that's not how it was supposed to work. Why is it glitching the crap out? Anyways, is it because I had empty water bottles in some of these? That one worked perfectly. You know what? You didn't see nothing. Anyways, it's been stupid for some reason. But you get the general gist of it. I mean,. It worked pretty good. And look, it's already freaking drying out. See? Good as new. Oh, I should pay attention to which dispensers are having fits and check on them. Wasn't that one? Anyways, yeah. So if you want to, uh, set up a similar system to this uh, go ahead uh, the initial video I watched for uh, clay farm was uh, I want to believe it was waddles so shout out to waddles if you haven't watched the stuff he does a lot of awesome stuff he makes a lot of awesome builds a lot of awesome farms but his uh, he doesn't use the dispensers he just goes by hand and does each block but uh, yeah, test it out, see what you think. Let's quickly go over here and get us a few levels real fast. Oh, creeper. Easy, easy peasy. Sometimes the mobs will like, I don't know if they'll get like glitched on like the edge of like a block in there or whatever, but they'll just be sitting there, just barely out of view like that. Speak of the devil and it shall happen. And they just like hop. So you just gotta look for their little toesies to just come out and you just boom, set them on fire. Yeah. Then you go in here. Grab your campfires. And this is why Silk Touch is so nice. On tools. I always have an axe with Silk Touch on it. And uh, a pick. This is just an iron one. I didn't have enough diamonds. I need to get more diamonds so I can, uh, you know, finish my... My fit. 
I also need to get make a different diamond chest plate. I got this from a trader. And other enchantments. Like I wanna put um I already have a book with a bunch of enchantments on it. And it's got like protection four or five? I think no, prop four. I don't wanna put that on this, but for some reason it I guess it won't let it with fire protection or something. I don't know. I thought it was kinda weird. But uh yeah, I need to get more diamonds. I just haven't cared enough. This is uh my humble abode. All these crazy sheep. Oh, I also Hey little dudes. I had mentioned earlier in a video that I needed to uh bring back some armadillos. So I, I did, and look. I brought back two armadillos and uh I've been breeding them. I think I only bred them twice. So I think there should be four. There's one right there, one right there, the baby. Yeah, I think there's four. I don't think I need to breed them all that much because like, they drop scoots a lot, man. Like, I already have, yeah, almost three stacks of freaking scoots. Like, I'm never gonna go through that many scoots. I'd have to have an army of dogs. I'd have to build a separate building just to have like a dog animal shelter. Oh yeah, I forgot about this freaking wandering fart face. Always comes in here, jumps up on here and likes to freaking play in my freaking garden, crushing all my crops, that fat fart. Anyways, no, but oh, honey, honey, you look so good. Honey's delicious. I've been uh, working out on like uh, butter and honey sandwiches for like a week now. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. Love it, baby. This is an auto sorter that I tried to build. I can't remember whose model it was after. But it has been finicky as crap. I finally got parts of it working. So like uh, we got this one that has the smooth stone or whatever. This one with regular stone. This one with cobblestone. And then boom over here we got our dirt. Oh that's not supposed to be in there. Two brick! <laughs> Supposedly if you take stacks of stuff you are like never gonna use and you name it, you can use it as a, a back filter item. Most of the stuff just kept going through the system. That's where my problems have been. That's why I haven't been here fixing it. I just haven't cared enough. I also haven't done more work down in my mind. Again, I just haven't cared enough. I'm making cakes though. I've been trading with villagers. I've been just banding my feline and canine family. Hello. <laughs> we need more. But also, everyone. I know. People might have been mad at me. But they can't be anymore. They all have their own individual food dishes. Yes. I care about my day animals. No one has to share anymore. They each get a delectable serving of what suits them. Oh, they love me. They just can't get their eyes off me. Oh, yeah. I'll just sit here and watch them. Hello there. Anyways, um, uh, oh, get off my lawn, you butt sucking fiend. What was that weird, stupid? Yeah. That freaking wandering trader bag from a 
props, you butt face. Where are you, you bum? Oh, it's a stupid witch. You fat fart. Fuck, tread. Gonna light your... What? Suck on that. Suck on it. You know what? Mm. Never liked you. You missed, you butt. Hehe. <laughs> Witches are just annoying, let's be honest. They just hit you with the freaking potion. And then like, haha, you're gonna deteriorate. What the? Spider eye. Is that what I just got from that? Since when do witches drop spider? Oh, I guess I could... No, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say, you can take spider eyes and... Uh, that's what you gotta use to breed those uh, weird overgrown rats, the armadillos. Let's be honest, that's basically what armadillos are. Like, they may, they may look cuter than a rat, like, look at these things. Get out of the way, you sheep! Look at them. Okay, they're actually pretty adorable in the game, but let's be real. In, in real life, they're just basically, like, armored rat rodents. Kinda disgusting. But, uh, yeah. That's the update. Uh, I'm gonna get off, enjoy the rest of my day, and, uh, chill. And have a relaxing birthday, because, uh, that's what it's all about. Just chilling. Uh, there's no need to overcomplicate birthdays. Most, some people do. Why aren't you lit? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, some people try and plan extravagant things. And yeah, while that may be good for some, that's not really me. I don't plan on going anywhere. I just plan on taking it easy. Like, I'm not a partier. I'm not very much of a social person. Um, I am very much an introvert, and uh, so I enjoy my speaks. So, catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. And uh, happy 4th of July to all those who uh, are in the States and celebrate it. It is uh, a holiday definitely to remember. So, uh, Be sure to uh, take a little time and remember all the things we're blessed with. Until next time. Bye now. Smoky nights. Well, poo.